I write the melodies and the lyrics, and Michael helps write the songs and plays drums. And it's very vital in how the songs are put together structurally. We're in very much the early stages of making this record, building the bottom of the pyramid before we get up there. It's just, it's just a pad. It's just the chords. It's what I wrote the song with. Right, but I mean the vocals and that there's like, there's going to be other stuff. Sure. The organ is important to me, so if okay. we need to redo it, that's fine. That's like a church organ sound, yeah. though, isn't it? But maybe he can find something, you know? One of the cool things about recording this song is you can really focus on why you wrote the song. Looks like there's enough of them that there might be something that can be used. We actually came out here to California, hung out with Joey Warrenker, who is our producer, and we hung out at his place for a few days and just jammed on some ideas, put together some really rough like, melodies, chord progressions, and then we took those and tried to make them into songs and ended up with about 20 demos. We wanted the demos to be very good so that when we got here we could move quick. There were some cool things we got down in the demos that were saying, oh, we really like that, should we just keep it? Or can we do better? Let's listen and see where we're at. Let's go like four bars before the chorus and just hear it. What we do need to do is get samples. Yeah. We just had to do some samples, like I'll do individual sounds so that they can then, one of my hits in the original take is kind of weak, then I'll uh, use it. I really have a big appreciation for studio time. I think as you age, you kind of learn these are the kind of songs that we want to make. Sonically, we're still the same band for sure. We're trying different things. Like, I love making music. I love recording. I love it. But I also love having those recordings be heard by a lot of people.